All right, we're now going to talk about uh, common errors in if or selection statements. All right, so we're going to look at the first set of common errors. Now, one of the types of common errors that you can have are overlapping conditions. This is actually relatively common as, a, as an error. All right, let's take a look at an example right here. So we have a, a, a list right here of if statements. And the idea is that given uh, somebody's grade, let's say the, the student got an 84, should that student get an A, B, C, or an F as a letter grade in uh, on the transcript? And so we have this if statement, and this is a typical thing that we would do in a, in a, in a course at the end of the semester. We would take a look and, and sort of categorize students this way. So we've got if uh, the mark is above an 80, then, then yeah, you get an A. If it's above a 70, you get a B. If it's above a 60, you get a C. And otherwise, you get an F. Is this going to work? Well, the answer is, well, I don't think so. Now, let's compare and contrast with this one right here. Okay, so again, a bunch of if statements, the difference being that we've got some else's in here. All right, so let's take a look at what happens when you code this up. All right, so I'm going to go into, uh, let's see, I'm going to go into J shell. Okay, so we're going to type this up. So I'm going to say mark, marks is equal to 84, like that. Nope int marks is equal to 84. There we go. So I've got a variable called marks. Now I'm going to go if marks is greater than or equal to 80. I'm going to go system dot out dot print line. I'm hitting the tab. That's why I'm getting the tab completion right here. Uh, A semicolon close the parenthesis. Then I'm going to go. I'm going to do this all in one line. If marks greater than or equal to 70, like that, and I'm going to go system.out.println, uh, and we're going to do, see this will be B, and then I'm going to close the curly brace right there, and I'm going to go if marks greater than or equal to 60, open curly brace, System dot out dot print line. Let's see, I'm at a C. Close the curly brace, and then I got an else afterwards. Uh, else, and we're going to do system dot out dot print line F. Then the student gets an F. All right, now I'm going to hit enter. Oh, I made a mistake. What did I, what mistake did I make? Ah. It tells me right after the system print line B. So I'm going to go over there. Let's fix that. Here's an example in fixing things. Nope. And that one there. Come on. <laughs> All right. I'm going to fix this. And I forgot one right there. There. All right. So I got it. Now what it does is it prints A, B, and C. Well, a student can't have simultaneously A, B, and C. There are overlapping conditions here. It turns out that um, because I don't have the else's in here, I finished my first if, then it says, well, you got an A, but 84 is also greater than 70, is also greater than 60. So then it gives the student A, B, and C. To fix that, what we do is we put a bunch of else's in. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go over to the if marks are greater than 60. I'm going to put an else. All right. And then before that, for the B, I'm going to put an else. And the reason is because you can see on the, on the right-hand side column right there, what I want to do is I want to say that if marks are greater than 80, print A and only that, and then exit afterwards. Don't look at the 70, don't look at the 60, etc. If I do that, then only A appears. Okay, so this is really important, is that when you're setting up an if structure, that you don't, if you don't intend to, don't have overlapping conditions because otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. All right, so that's super important. So conditions in the list of if statements are checked independently. In a single if statement, only the first satisfying branch is executed. But you got to make sure that that else is there, okay? Otherwise, they're independent ifs. All right, you want to make them dependent on each other in most cases. So then the next question becomes, uh, does this program always print exactly one line? This one right here. 
So what we have is an if statement with uh, x less than zero, then we have an if with uh, x between, so there's an and condition here, another and, and you can always put little brackets, parentheses there, okay? There as well. It's a good idea typically to do that so that you can separate them out. Anyway, so you got less than zero, then you have between zero and 10, then you've got between 10 and 20, and then you got over 20. In this case, yes, it will, because the conditions for each of these ifs is separate. You, you can't, you, it's been designed in order to evaluate x in different zones. Okay, basically you've got a zone of, over here, x uh, is sort of less than zero, then you've got it for between uh, 0 and 10, and then you've got it uh, between 10 and 20, and then you've got everything from there, actually from there as well, negative here, uh, everything above 20 as well. So it, it really is designed to be independent, okay? So that's a good thing. So yes, because the branching conditions for all four if statements are all non-overlapping. That is, any two of the conditions cannot be satisfied simultaneously. And there are different ways of setting up your if-else or your if statements to do that. It's important that regardless of how you go about doing it, that you keep that, you do it intentionally. Mm -hmm.